I'm Professor Melita Gordon. I live at I uh, live and work in Malawi, and I work at the Malawi Liverpool World Trust Program in Blantyre. This is a study. What are the key issues that are coming out? So the key issues are that uh, typhoid is common in Malawi. We're high incidence. It affects children of school age and preschool age. So we recruited 28,000 children in Blantyre, in Zingwangwa and in Durandi to enter this child study. And what we found is that this new generation of typhoid vaccines was number one, extremely safe. There were no serious adverse events and no uh, serious adverse events of, uh, during this study. Uh, number two, we found that the vaccine is extremely effective. It's 84% effective. It prevents 84% of typhoid infections in children. Number three, we found that it not only protects the older school-age children, but it also protects the preschool children, which is really important because the burden of disease is high there as well. And number four, we found that this vaccine has gone on working very well over time. It's still protecting really well at two years, and we need to keep on studying to see how long it lasts. But so far, it protects over a really long time, which is obviously very important, so that kids get protection right through childhood, not just for a year or so. Maybe at the moment, what is the impact of typhoid in children in Malawi? I think the impact of typhoid in children is really high. We have a very high incidence. It's a nasty illness. Children present to hospital with a fever. For every 100 cases, we know that 44 families out of 100 will receive a real bad economic hit from this disease in terms of the costs of illness to them, of, of medicines, of transport, of hospitalization to the family. And it also costs the government money. Uh, of every 100 cases, 21 will have serious complications. They can be jaundiced, confused, they can have a coma. And that includes four children would have a, a perforation in their gut, a hole in their gut, and two children would die. So it, it gives a really high burden on children of all sorts of burden, economic, social, and health burdens. Maybe how many children are you targeting with this new vaccine? Well, this trial was of 28,000 children, but we're very delighted to say that because the vaccines work so well, the Malawi government plans to roll it out nationally next year, which is very exciting. There will be a mass campaign for children from nine months right up to the age of 15 years. That's not much less than half the population of Malawi. So we're probably looking at something like six or seven million children to be vaccinated. After that campaign, it will be rolled out in the national EPI program with routine vaccinations, and it will be given at the age of nine months at the same time as the first measles vaccine. So it will go across the whole country into the EPI program. Thank you.